Seven for 17 on third down last week. Carbone play action, threads the needle, touchdown Seawolves. A terrific catch by Andrew Trent. His Knight awaits the snap, backing up, pressure coming from Stony Brook, and he is wrapped. Being told to us now, so a roughing the kicker potentially. And it's intercepted. Stony Brook is going to take this one back to the house for a touchdown. TJ Morrison with the combined tackle. Knight to the outside. Neil O'Connor in the slot with plenty of room. Bashes off one Stony Brook player into Stony Brook territory. Gray with the block, but Knight falls down. The football is out. It's picked up by Shane Wallace, the defensive captain to the house. Touchdown, Seawolves up 20 to nothing. Two does have three receptions today. Carbone throwing again, intercepted. Rick Ellison, second straight game with an interception for the junior quarterback. Having the, uh, the locks out of the helmet. Another third down, Wildcats have converted on one, and Neil O'Connor breaks free. Touchdown, New Hampshire. To start the second half, nice throw to O'Connor. A tight window, and he reels it in into Stony Brook territory. Doug Marone as well, heading the Jaguars. Carbone, air ball, and caught. Marshall Ellick with his first catch of the day. To him multiple times today. Five catches in the game. Low snap, Carbone to the end zone. Touchdown, Marshall Ellick. To me for the Wildcats. Leotine up over 100 yards. Floater over the middle, intercepted New Hampshire. Prince Smith Jr. Quinlan Dean keeps him on his feet. Junior surveys the D and then Smith Jr. wrapped up inside the 40s. Easy, right across the street. As Carbone hands off, Pickett right through the middle of the defense for his first career collegiate touchdown. The Stony Brook Seawolves spoil New Hampshire's homecoming and hand the Wildcats their first loss on homecoming in 10 years.